Today, we're gonna to talk about the big problem with Asians being doctors, lawyers, engineers. Before we begin, if you wanna grow faster in life and in business, don't forget to subscribe whatever channel you are coming from. So you don't have to be Asian to watch this video. This is a cultural thing that happens too, right? Not necessarily, necessarily just for kind of um, Japanese, Chinese, Korean people, or even Indian people. It's, it's kind of um, in a lot of different cultures, right? Growing up, we are taught to go to school. We are taught to become a doctor, an engineer, or a lawyer. And what is the reasoning for that? Because, well, in Chinese culture at least, right, your parents, they want you to make more money because making money, that's a sign of success, right? Which is why growing up around a lot of Asian families, it's like that is the main kind of KPI, key performance indicator. The problem with that is when you optimize for money, you're not necessarily optimizing for happiness, right? So when I think about a lot of my friends, I remember I had this one friend. So growing up, he's always done, you know, pretty decently in school. And we've always had similar interests and we lived together in college as well and he was studying for dental school, right? What you realize, like, you know, just because you see a lot of your friends going through dental school and succeeding in it, that doesn't necessarily mean it's for you. So he studied really hard for it, and what he found at the end of the day was that dental school, even though he spent, um, you know, I don't, I don't know, God, God knows how long, but he spent a lot of time and effort into it, and what he figured out at the end was like, this dental school thing, it isn't for me. Same thing, I, I have a lot of friends that, you know, they became lawyers and, you know, now they're, they're either miserable or they end up quitting their job and, and doing something else. But because we were taught at a young age to optimize for becoming a doctor, a lawyer, engineer without having any context, that's the biggest problem, right? So if you are at a very young age taught to go for this one KPI that doesn't really have any meaning to you, money, because as a kid, you don't really care that much about money. And then at the end of the day, like you spend all this time and maybe when you're 35 years old or so and you've gone through residency and you are now a doctor and you're putting in all the hours and you're working so hard for someone else where it's just a marathon and it's not something you ever really wanted to do, that's maybe not a life that's worth living, right? So the lesson here, if you think about, if you think about business too, right? If you are working on something that you don't wanna be working on, what do you do? You quit, right? You go and do something else. The other thing is a lot of people think about the sunk cost fallacy. I've put in all these years, I spent in all this time, I'm trying to make my parents happy, like all these different variables. Oh, I can't do this, I can't quit. Like, why not? Why can't you quit? Why can't you restart? Why can't you reset? And then end up doing something that's gonna end up making you happier at the end of the day. So I remember as a kid, I wanted to be a, a police officer. My parents like, you never wanna do that. They were right on that one. And then what happened was, um, I remember in college, my parents were like, my dad's like, oh, you know, if you're, if you're a pharmacist, you know, pharmacists will make good money, right? And then my mom's like, oh, accountant will always make money, right? So they wanted me to be safe. They didn't necessarily want me to optimize for money, but they did always talk about like, you know, all our friends that are doctors, engineers, lawyers, right? Maybe they thought I wasn't that capable, which is why they wanted me to become a uh, pharmacist, like the safe route or an accountant. I'm not saying those jobs are bad. Like if that's what you're optimizing for, if that's what makes you happy, like definitely go for it, right? At the end of the day, I tried studying, um, you know, uh, bio in college. I tried study going down the pharmacy route, and then wasn't that interesting to me. I even tried going down the computer engineering route for a little bit, but um, I think at the time that the schooling wasn't that good. It was like decent, but typically in computer engineering stuff, you don't really need to go to college for that. Um, so didn't really have the, the right schooling for that. What ended up happening was the stuff that I started learning from business started happening afterwards. And my whole thing was at a young age, I wanted to optimize for, for happiness because I played games all the time. I was like, I wanna capture this feeling. I wanna have this feeling every day. You don't wanna like feel like you're going to work. And when, when I heard about my parents, you're like, oh, you know, work is like this, work's like that. This happened at work. I'm just like, God, that's such a miserable life. You know, the way I feel right now playing these games, like I just want this, this feeling to carry on forever. And that's genuinely the feeling that I have right now. It's only because, you know, you hear the quote, do what you love. And it seems like it's a bunch of hodgepodge, but generally, generally when I wake up in the morning right now, it's like I, I've recaptured that feeling from when I was playing Quake, from when I was playing Counter-Strike, from when I was playing EverQuest, all these different games, right? I'm not saying you need to be a gamer, but like think about the times, maybe you play sports, maybe you played American football or maybe you played basketball, right? Those are the things where it's like you get the adrenaline, you feel better, you're, you're, you're with your comrades. I, I think the problem is the way we're brought up is to optimize for something that we might not care so much about. So we have to rejigger what we are taught growing up. And even at this point right now, if you're going down the med school path and you're finding that that's not what, what you're supposed to be doing, then like, don't do it. Even though you put in all the years, maybe you put in like a year or two and you're actually in residency and you feel like you're stuck and you have to go through it, but you still have like another, like, I don't know, 60, 70, 80 years to live. Why would you wanna be stuck doing that for the rest of your time, right? You can still change it. And what you should be chasing instead is you should be chasing the opportunity. I, I think that's what people miss. So 
instead of chasing the money, chase the opportunity. And, and the, even like, if you're just starting out, you're working for someone, like if you find that you aren't growing as much anymore or you aren't being challenged anymore, then chase the next opportunity and then chase the next opportunity. And sometimes when I moved on to the next opportunity, I wasn't necessarily making more money. I was actually making less money, but I was learning more. So keep chasing the opportunity. And it, as long as you feel like you're growing and as long as it, most importantly, if you feel like you're having fun, that's the most important thing. It's not money. And that's why I think there's a problem with Asians, at least for me, like the, the culture that I'm brought up in optimizing for being a doctor, being an engineer, being a lawyer. That's not what it's about. You're trying to play the long game, so play it to have fun. Let me know what you think in the comments. I mean, this is fairly controversial and I know not everyone watching this is Asian, but just the general premise of this, does it make sense to try to, you know, tell your kids to go down this route and then at the end of the day, they're actually miserable, right? Let me know in the comments what you think and don't forget, if you're on YouTube, check out the next video over there and whatever platform you're coming from, don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe because we like you because you're cute, all right? With that being said, see you tomorrow.